man. It's never a dull moment here. <laughs> What's up, modern steaders? Let's go feed some pigs. You ready, Pluto? You ready? Huh? Are you ready? I'm gonna go feed the pig. Let's go. Oh, guys. Looks like we got a flat tire on the tractor. Man. It's never a dull moment here. Feed the pigs and we'll come back and fix that. Morning, guys. You got that hay torn up pretty good. I'm liking it. They are cute right now, but when they get full size, they're not so cute. So we've got to enjoy them while we can. We just put air in the tire the other day, so. Unfortunately, we must have hit something yesterday when we were working in the fields. This little kit comes in pretty handy. It wasn't supposed to rain for a few hours this morning, but guys, it's not looking very promising. I was hoping to get the rest of the grass picked up this morning and give it, give it to the chickens before the rain came. I don't know, we got probably a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain last night. And we're supposed to get another quarter of an inch of rain today. Hopefully, it's nothing major wrong with the tractor tire. Well, I guess we'll find out. I raised the tire up off the ground, that way we can get any pressure off the tire. And we can spin it freely after and find out where the leak is, if there is a leak. Hopefully there isn't one, but I bet you there is. That's going to take a little while to fill with air, so we're going to go in the house, get a spray bottle with soapy water. We can spray down the tire, find out where the leak's coming from. I'm going to put a couple of squirts of eco-friendly soap. Fill it up with just a little bit of water. We don't need the whole container. We just want a good soapy water, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I can hear a leak. Will over at the weekend homestead yesterday left in the comments, he got his tires filled with foam. I guess I should have done that. Let's see if we can spray this thing down guys and find a leak. Found it. Look at that, we picked up a nail. I was expecting like a tree branch to have punctured it or something. Right there. Let me go get my kit, guys, and we'll fix that right up. Got our nice little kit right here, guys. Let's spray this down again. I can hear it. Right there. Look at that bubble. Look at that bubble, guys. Oh, pop. And the rain is coming. What the heck? Hopefully we can get this done before it starts raining out too bad. I was hoping to get some of that grass or hay, whatever you want to call it, picked up today. I don't know, guys. I guess I shouldn't complain too much. At least we're getting rain. There's a lot of subscribers that haven't been having any luck lately with rain and it's dry. I just feel like we've been in a rainforest all spring. <laughs> all right. So, we're gonna do this, and if we keep having issues, we'll have to get a tube for our tire, but I don't have a tube at the house, but I got plugs. Definitely one thing to keep at your homestead is some plugs. Nope. A little bit of a mess. 
I got some of that all over my face, guys. Looks like I nicked the sidewall a little bit too, guys. I'm gonna have to get a tube for the tire when I get a chance. I'll have to write down the tire size and next time we're in town, I'll have to pick one up or order it. Yeah, she's bubbling. It's not very nice out, but hopefully we can get one area raked up and picked up, brought over to the chickens before it starts raining too hard. Well, let's get to work while it's not raining. I'll try to see how long I can keep the camera out for before it starts raining too bad. Slow down. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It's raining out, guys. I gotta put the camera away. Would you look at that? One more full bucket load. Awesome, I think that makes number seven. We haven't got nuts raking. Even in this spot right here, it's still raining out, everything's wet. We're just trying to get it done. We have, I think, two more areas out there to rake up when it's not raining. But we got most of the field done. Like I was saying yesterday, guys, this was just fertilized by one from one season from the chickens. It looks beautiful. Let's go bring this to New York City. Morning guys, and ducks, and girls. So what the plan is here is we're gonna let the chickens eat as much of this grass as they want to. They gotta peck through it, get the bugs out of it, get a bunch of greens and seeds out of it. Then they gotta be soiling it and composting it for us. We got this pile here. See, Mr. Biggs is already to work. He's being quiet this morning. What's the matter, Mr. Biggs, you camera shy? <laughs> and over here, we have some of the other stuff we dropped off yesterday for them. Working the pile already. 
Let's miss the bigs. So what the goal is with the grass clippings is to have the chickens eat as much feed out of it as they can that they've grown themselves, guys. That's just amazing. And then once we move New York City out of here, <laughs> we'll either leave the grass clippings in here, but I'm thinking we're gonna use them in our garden beds to suppress the weeds and fertilize because it's gonna be loaded with chicken manure and they're gonna have already started to break down a little bit and compost. For those of you new subscribers who don't know what I'm talking about when I say New York City, because we got a lot of new subscribers lately, so I want to say thanks guys for coming over, checking out the channel. We hope you're enjoying it. This is New York City. We built New York City on an upcycled pop-up camper trailer. Let me give you guys a quick little tour of it. I'll link some videos here. We have a whole series on building it. That's for me guys, hold on. Hello. Hi. That was Gina guys, she said hello. I think we were at showing you guys a quick little tour of New York City. Let me show it to you real quick. Yeah, we got our door with a fold up ramp. We got the old camper door that we upcycled. Just replaced the paneling with some of the pine boards. And here we got one, two, three, four, five nesting boxes. We got our roosts and we got this end opened up. So if we ever want to put, we could have a goat maybe sleep in here. We could put some rabbit hutches in here. We got ventilation up top, back window, and more ventilation over here. We got a gutter system on both sides that ties around in the front. Comes down and we collect our rainwater. And right now we just got it hooked up with a spigot. I want to get a automatic water. I don't know if I want a bowl with a float in it or if I want to put a pipe with some little watering nipplers. I haven't decided yet or they make like little cups that would go on a pipe with a little nippler in there that holds the water. That might be better for the ducks. We're still thinking that through. So right now I'm just filling up the rubber bowl I have for them a couple of times a day. Here are the nest boxes. I haven't made better locks yet, which I need to. Good morning, ladies. Look at that, we already got one, two, three, four. Hey, it's the first time a chicken's laid in that nest box. We've already got five eggs this morning, guys. Awesome. I think we can catch the pigs at work. Let's see. Caught us, guys. Let's go in and check out and see how big of a hole they got going on over there. So this is why we have the pigs in the winter greenhouse, and this is why we have the winter greenhouse is to make compost. Look at that, guys. They're in there digging that up, rooting it up. They're gonna turn that into some nice compost. These guys are still wicked young. Wicked. How do you like that, Texas boys? These pigs are wicked young. But they're doing a wicked piss of job, guys. Don't eat my boot. Eat some hay and manure. Look how dirty their foreheads are. Yup. The sure sign of pig eaters. Yeah. Boy, guys, I wish that camera picked up the depth of that a lot better but they are going to town right there. That just excites me. It's the whole reason why we did the winter chicken coop and got the piglets in here. We want to make some awesome compost with our deep bedding. Hey, that were my boots. They might like that hay, that grass we just made, but we're gonna give that to the chickens and then we'll give them some nice grass like that next time. So if that doesn't excite you guys, I don't know what does. That gets me all excited. You got corn. Oh, you got a, oh look, this is what you said last night you love. Oh yes, mashed potatoes. Oh, mashed potatoes. I didn't even think of that until Who now. Why did you put skin in it? <laughs>
Today's video was not as planned. It rained a lot earlier than we thought it was going to, but we were able to get a few projects done and we we're seeing some progress here on the modern homestead. So if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you like the series, the growing season, make sure you share it guys. You guys sharing the videos in the channel helps the channel grow. So we want to thank you for that. And we're doing really good lately. And we'll see you right back here guys tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom. Some of my boots. Why do you want to eat my boots?